found that working with boars is tricky, and they're not, you can only train them so much. And uh, we couldn't bring a couple of quote unquote trained boars over from the States, it was too expensive. So we thought we'd go local because there are boars here, which is why they were written in. You might call them boars, I call them the island piggies. <laughs> It's the Hawaiian version of the boars. And on the day, everything set to go, and we had fences set up for the boars. They were supposed to run from point A to point B, and we got ready to roll, and the boars sniffed around a little bit and had no interest in, in walking, let alone running. They only work if you sort of withhold food. They're a little bit hungry, and then they come because of the food. So. I think possibly what happened is the extras had been going, well, here's a little carrot, and here's a little piece of broccoli. And so by the time the boars got out, unbeknownst to us, they weren't hungry anymore. So they sort of wandered around, and they really were the least threatening things you've ever seen. And I looked at the boar trainer, who was a guy who catches them in the jungle, and I said, uh, so they're not moving? He says, no, I guess they don't want to. I went. Yeah, does, are they going to change their boar minds, or is this it? He said, no, I guess they're not hungry, they don't want to run. I said, well, now what do I do? And I thought, so I shot every possible angle of people reacting in boar's point of view, and I totally winged the scene, and I threw it to Kevin Blank and said, our visual effects genius, and I said, save us. And he created CG boars. <laughs> In this episode I'm shooting now, where Sawyer hunts a boar, uh, when they told me I was going to be doing another episode that involved a boar hunt, I told them they were kidding, and they were just trying to drive me insane, and they said no for real. But we actually now have the real big boars from the States. Let's get our two cameras set up back here, one holding the uh, boar, one holding Josh and the boar. You need to be right ready, because when we unload him, we'll take him down there, turn him around, and send him back. Uh, one of us will be there feeding him. He'll put the meat down. When he starts to run away, is probably the best time to roll. And then we'll just, there's going to be two of us on each side of him, and we'll just run him straight up through here right by you. He's not going to bother you. You're fine. But anybody that doesn't need to be in here needs to go away. And we'll start Josh running. He's you know, right there in front of me. Just go and I'll send him with him. All right, well, or a little, yeah, we don't want him right next to him. But. Oh, yeah, but give him four or five feet. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's do that. <laughs> no, no. Let us reset it. Now get out of the way against the fence. It's tough to be a boar. It's not easy. Boring. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, if he chased me, and I'm about ready to put some of that meat in my back pocket, take a ride. Because I'm tired to be running back and forth. <laughs> but that's all right. It's fun. We can, stand, we can stand the guy right there, and we'll chase the pig past him, and he can just fall and let the pig Well, no matter what, you know what I can do in this shot? I can get you to run. And I can get you to do one as if you trip yep. out of the shot. I can get you to do one where you're like this, and it's almost the same thing if the board knocks your legs out. Yeah. So essentially, we'll have our choice. Let's roll. Don't let yeah. him in there, Jose. Don't let him in there. Roll. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, go. go. Yeah, I'm the camera, so walkie, walkie, walking, walking, walking. And now you hear, I was going to pay. Take a moment to play. What did I hear? Look behind you, and the boar is there. Get out of there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Josh is doing a sensational performance. I think it's going to be really compelling. I think it's uh, it's got elements that are a little absurdist. His obsession of sort of reliving his past and hunting this boar, which has somehow wronged him, is almost humorous. But the more his character is obsessive and cares about it, the stranger it is. And that paralleling Sawyer's real past story, which is heartbreaking, and we learn more about that in the episode, I think it's, it's going to be great.